Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Rat Tarot and this is going to be a Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for November 5th to November uh, 11th, 2018 uh, and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a, a general reading for Libra Star Sign and um, it is not your personal reading Therefore, uh, I will do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make uh, sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, uh, that will be a, a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, uh, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And uh, I want to let you know as well that the uh, monthly readings are already out at uh, the, this very same YouTube channel. So if you want to know the prospects of your star sign for uh, the month of November, feel free to browse them down and to check them. <clears throat> so that being said, going to the tarot spread first. Now the first card of the tarot spread is going to show us the topic of your Libra's week and we do have the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords uh, is about breakthrough. Uh, uh, the Ace of Swords is also uh, about negotiations. Uh, obviously uh, this week is going to be rather a, a week where you will have to really take the things in your, the matters, excuse me, in your hand and push really, really hard. Now the Ace of Swords, <clears throat> uh, by its nature, it's very aggressive card. And uh, usually uh, the, the whole breakthrough is provoked by the poignance of the situation itself where um, you basically cannot uh, stand this uh, lack of justice, for example. You can't stand that uh, people are um, simply taking advantages of, of your kindness, for example, or of your, uh, of your goodness here, of, uh, of your means as well and you slam with your fist full on the table and basically you are re are negotiating the terms of how things are to move on from now on. Um, so that being said, the Ace of Swords here is say a card pointing that the topic of this week for you is going to be you taking um, very drastic measures to improve your circumstances or you know negotiating your future <clears throat> where you basically say the full truth of how you expect your future to be, what you want, for example, from your boss, from your partner, um, in uh, in relationship, from your career, from your co-workers, etc., etc. And uh, <clears throat> the rest is basically uh, in fate's hands. But at least you will know that you have done... Uh, as much as you can. I mean, someone, a person can do just so much <laughs> to improve their circumstances. Not everything depends on you, but whatever depends on you, you are to make it throughout the week, November 5th to November 11th. The next card that we do have, this is pointing to the um, core of the situation or why the Ace of Swords is happening. We do have the Five of Cups and we said about the poignance. So the Five of Cups here points to a partial, either partial loss or uh, a uh, experience in a similar uh, in a similar standpoint in a similar situation from the past which you have been uh, either defeated the, the situation was a failure or uh, simply didn't work out in your favor and the things are repeating themselves right now you recognize that the things are repeating themselves and you simply cannot allow the same thing to happen back again. So it's kind of like relying on a past experience in a similar kind of undertaking or, or, or in a similar kind of a situation. And this time around, as you have learned your lesson back then, you will not allow, as I said, you know, the um, <clears throat> uh, basically the shits to hit the fan, <laughs> you know, and uh, the um, uh, the destruction to escalate to a point of no return. So uh, the Five of Cups here plays a role like a um, <clears throat> like a red flag, right? Like a reminder. Uh, for example, just to give you an example here, guys. Um, 
let's say that recently you have met someone to be your suitor here you are really ha having fun with them in the recent past and now uh, something in the behavior of that guy or a girl is reminding you severely to a, a very poignant relationship you had back in the past and that is a huge red flag which is going to kind of ring a bell uh, making you realize that actually things will not be as beautiful as you are imagining them to be. I mean, there will be a severe issues. And uh, the Ace of Swords does not mean that you are to break that relationship. It means that you are to open your cards, basically open your hand here and uh, provoke or kind of like confront that person to, uh, to become much more serious or rather lead those serious conversations with them for the how you are how you want this relationship to move on from now on and if they cannot fit in um, uh, in those criteria, basically obviously that relationship can't move on any further but again this doesn't mean that you are to break it necessarily it depends on how these uh, conversations are to be led uh, <clears throat> the next card here is showing the challenges which are causing predicaments for you we do have the king of pentacles and in that specific case the king of pentacles points that you are to feel very uh, how can I say poignant um, just for the option available for you to basically abandon and leave what you have worked for until this very moment if the situation proves futile to be repaired and recuperated um, it's kind of like abandoning a uh, position so it's it's impression what the challenge is going to be uh, something that it is not yet defined something that is not yet determined but the very thought of it is going to be a, a very very challenging thought for you so um, <clears throat> for example again I will go with uh, the suitor here you confront that suitor and the very thought that this suitor is not going to fit in your criteria, and they will not be uh, agree you know to follow whatever you're proposing here with the ace of swords being the negotiations and basically they they tell you you know well if you don't like me and if you are not agree with the way i do things well you can simply walk away the the thought that you can abandon these standpoints that you have worked for so hard it is something that comes as a challenge to you so it's it's kind of like um i can't find the really the english word but um, let's say that you are to regret your efforts here and it's it's going to be to a point where you may feel angry to yourself how could you again invest into uh, into a uh, undertaking relationship or a project which is proving you know despite your best efforts it's proving out of your control so this what we do have here is a attempt for you to regain or exert full control upon the situation should it happen or not that is yet to be determined that will be determined in the next couple of weeks you know for example 11th to 17th or 17th to 23rd etc etc but <clears throat> yeah again um it's important here to know guys that uh, it is yet within your hands and uh, the situation is not beyond uh, any repairing and it is not reached a, a point of no return that's displayed here by the five of cups because what Alistair Crowley says about the five of cups is that the uh, the loss or the suffering the the, uh, the disappointment right now that we are experiencing is only a, a partial one all right it's not a, a permanent therefore we should not abandon the, the uh, path that we have consciously taken as we can still you know fix the cracks and fix the gaps which are in the situation itself the next card that we do have is the guidance the tarot is offering to you now here we do have the seven of pentacles which asks you to seriously reconsider the strategies that you are um, adopting regarding that particular situation either career or either relationship that that card asks you to seriously think how you how much you give for what how much you take for example 
that could play out in a couple of ways. Maybe uh, right now uh, you are giving way too much for the business or for the relationship and people simply giving you, uh, taking you for granted and they think that they can boss you around all they want but here you make your stand saying no, you can't boss me around any longer, you know. And that, of course, is going to place them into a rather unfavorable position, unfortunate position. Or it could be that you are way too um, tyrannical in those uh, situations and these people simply uh, start considering, you know, leaving. Either way, we do have a disappointment here. So there is a, a, a disturbance into the balance in between the giving and taking and that's why you need to... Um, uh, reassess your not your position but your strategies how you how much you give against for how much you take in it either way will work it is just it this this specific um, standpoint needs to be talked about you should not give it a, a silent treatment <clears throat> so don't be afraid to ask here and don't be afraid to demand what you think you you deserve from uh, from either your relationship or from either your career. And now we are going to the uh, tar, uh, to the Lenormand spread reading, uh, which is to uncover a uh, event that you should either uh, look forward to or uh, simply try to avoid. So let's see what we got. Now the first one, this is going to be the child. Now the child stands for innocence, it stands for petite, small, it stands for as well child. The next one, this is going to be the, uh, the mice. Now the mice stands for trouble, the mice, the mice stands for um, deterioration if I may express myself that way. It also stands for fertility as well. And the next one we do have the lilies. Now the lily stands for sex, the lily stands for as well family and elders. So there are many ways how um, these cards could manifest as a events. We can have a petite problems in family. We can have a petite problems in sex. We can have however fertility through sex, you know, getting yourself pregnant this week through sex or getting your girlfriend pregnant through sex this week or we can have a, a problem with your child I mean this is going to be a, a communicational problem like your child really doesn't listening to you and they do whatever they want <clears throat> so um, either way I'm sure that you here with the ace of swords and the five of cups you are going to foresee where the thing is coming from and you will not allow the situation to escalate to a point where uh, you will have no control and you will be unable basically to react upon it. Uh, <clears throat> wherever the issue is coming from here from the mice is, it is either coming from a sex or from a family here and is going to be a, a petite one at least throughout this particular week as the Five of Cups suggests, you know, that it's, it's not going to be that big of an issue yet but it does require its drastic approach and drastic measures. And if it is a pregnancy, the Five of Cups and the Ace of Swords here points that this pregnancy is to be quite unexpected and it may throw you into a state where, oh my God, what we're going to do right now, you know, for, or, or from now on. And um, some serious reassessments here of the strategy, how the relationship should move on forward needs to take place from the fear of losing the state of the relationship overall. So that being said, uh, Libras, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, guys, this was just a general reading for Libra Star Sign. And it was not your personal reading. Therefore, I did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, uh, this is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.